What's going on everyone? My name is Burke, Coach Nunga Patrick, bringing you the Week 17 Builder of the MPCC versus Merck, Coach of the uh, Burger Kinglers. He is a good friend of mine and also an absolutely fantastically format player, so please check him out. His link is up in the description below. He is uh, currently in the MPL. I don't know if he's in playoffs or anything like that, but he is one of the most consistent players and also one of the best out there, so please check him out. You can learn a lot from watching his battles. But anyway, we are playing against Merc, and his team is really, really scary. Uh, because I don't have, like, terribly much for it. <laughs> so that's a little bit unfortunate. But his team, is, as you can see, the screen is Top Coco, Weavile, Skarmory, Zydog, Cresselia, Tornadus, I, Gel, Centaria, Mustunfish, Shiftry, and Frogadier. Z move users being Top Coco, Tornadus, and Shiftry. Um, yeah, Weavile, Zy Zydog just kind of picks apart my team. I don't have anything that can deal well with both of them. Floor just can take a hit, but if it's fully physically defensive, uh, Weavile Life Orb still tilts two shots in with Ice will Crash, which is crazy. Uh, Swampert wasn't the best bring, just because he has so many ways to deal with, with uh, Swampert. Top of Coco can obviously carry Grass Knot, and while yes, I could bring Rindo Berry, he just needs one nice prediction of me switching to Swampert to deal with it. Weavile's Life Orb Icicle Crash still does like 40% to a fully physically defensive, uh, fully physically defensive Swampert, so it's like not even worth it. Because with no reliable recovery, it's it's just not a good bring. So I had to figure out different ways of dealing with Weavile, dealing with Zygarde, and it can tell you not easy because the things that deal with Zygarde being mostly my Decidueye gets trapped by Weavile, so I have to be very careful of how I play around those two. So anyway, the first thing I decided to bring is Jirachi, Iron Head, Stealth, Rock, Thunder Wave, and U-Turn. As you can see, uh, Colberberry. The EV spread is max HP, 156 in defense, and 100 in speed. I wanted the 156 in defense with 252 because then I can take a Life Orb knockoff with the Colberberry under half, which is really nice. Uh, and with being able to take it under half, you know, that at least leaves me with a little bit of HP, and because if I can, if he knocks off and say I'm not able to kill it for some strange reason, I can wish pass back into Jirachi, and then I can take from full an unboosted knockoff, uh, unboosted life orb knockoff, you know, without the item. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Cobraberry, because that's how I take the knockoff, this isn't gonna, it's a quote unquote lure. It's not gonna learn the Weavile. Um, as soon as he sees I'm not leftovers, as soon as he sees I'm not scarf, he's gonna know I'm Colberberry. There's no way I'm passing that by him because it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna need to run Colberberry Jirachi to help deal with Weavile. Um, but that's fine. I just need it as not a way to lure in Weavile and kill it, just to be able to make sure I can take a hit from Weavile and kill it, even if it's pretty obvious I'm running Colberberry. We're going to Paraflinch, uh, just because, for actually, it's kind of to help whittle down Cresselia. Uh, Cresselia is just kind of a problem, and I am running Terrakion. You'll see later I'm running Scarf Terrakion. My game plan is to win with Scarf Terrakion. So if I can whittle down the Cresselia to a point where it can't take a... It can't take a close combat, which would take a while. It would it'd have to be like 20%. But... If I can take down the Cresselia or I can take down the Jellicent, we're doing pretty good. Uh, just as well if I can paralyze things like the Weavile, paralyze things like a Tornadus if he decides to bring it, like a Scarf Tornadus, I'd love to be able to paralyze that. Then we're looking pretty good for Terrakion. And I, I understand paraflinching, I don't like using it, but it's against Cresselia and just why not? <laughs> it's Cresselia, I don't care how I take it down as long as it dies. So that is uh, Jirachi. It's Stealth rocking, it's you turning out. It give me a little bit of pivoting. This might be my lead, depending on what he brings, just to set up rocks. Because I doubt he's going to bring hazard removal. He does not like bringing hazard removal. So if I can set up rocks, that'll chip down the Weavile, the top of Coco. Um, make some rolls on Cresselia a little bit more favorable, chip down Tornadus. So rocks are just nice to have. Uh, yeah, so that is Jirachi. Up next, we've got Electros, Snack the Electros. EV spread is a little bit odd, it's max HP, or near max HP, 76 in special attack, modus with 180 in speed. I wanted the max HP to help take on top Coco a little bit better, 
The 180 speed is to outspeed an uninvested, a nearly uninvested Skarmory. I think they have like 12 EVs in speed. I outspeed it. And yeah, then I've got max special attack, uh, not max special, 76 in special attack modest. I just do the rest in special attack through a modest because, you know, it'll, I'll deal a decent amount of damage to things, even with only 76 in special attack. Obvious assault vice is obvious. And I am running U-turn over Volt Switch. I was originally going to run Volt Switch, but then I decided to switch to U-turn because in case he decides to play like super ballsy with his Zygarde, I want to be able to U-turn and not Volt Switch uh, just so I can make sure I get some momentum going. Acid Spray is to prevent Cresselia from setting up. Well, not prevent it, but you know, keep it from just combining all over my face. I can Acid Spray it down. And uh, yeah, deal with it that way. And then Acid Spray plus Thunderbolt deals a lot of things. Acid Spray, Acid Spray plus Giga Drain will deal with the Stun Fist, which is really nice because I, you know, he could bring the Stun Fist, and I don't want to be completely walled by it. So Giga Drain will deal a decent chunk to it. Uh, whittle that thing down. So that is Snack the Electros. Not not too much to to really say about it. It's there to help deal with some things, his special attackers throw off some acid spray, deal some chip damage, and again, the whole point is to make sure that Scarf Terrakion can sweep at the end. Um, up next we have uh, Alpun the Decidueye, Sub Roost, Shadow Wall, Nasty Plot. I'm running a really funky EV spread on this one. I'm running 28 HP EVs, 180 in defense, 160 in special attack, and 140 in speed. Now why am I running 28 and 180? Well, the whole the whole thing is uh, max HP is less efficient than max defense. If, if I don't care how well I take things on the specially defensive side, max defense is defense is more important than HP. So by running the max defense, I take hits a lot better than if I was running uh, 180 HP with 28 in defense. So that's kind of why I'm running that. Really, I'm just here to try to take a thousand arrows from. Uh, from Doggo because it's it's not fun and I'm running sub roost it, it's a weird set and the reason being is because I didn't really want to run Colberberry again I run I'm already running Colberry and Jirachi I could have run Colberry on this but I decided not to I want to be able to sub up in case he decides to pursue trap me with Weavile I don't even know if he's gonna bring pursue trap with Weavile but if he does it, I would assume he's going to because it's just really good against my team so I can sub up, and if Weavile goes down, Sub Nasty Plot actually does quite a bit to his team. He doesn't have the best of uh, Ghost Resists. His Ghost Resists are Shift Tree and Weavile. They're both relatively frail, so I would be able to, you know, if I can get those down, then I, if I set up a Nasty Plot, he doesn't have the best, which is a Shadow Ball. Uh, the 140 speed is to outspeed something. I don't really remember. It was like max speed or min speed something. Um, I think it was min speed Cresselia. That's probably what I was trying to outspeed with that. So yeah, and this will, again, allow me to 1v1 a calm binding Cresselia, and if I can take it down, then again, we're looking good for Scarf Terrakia. So that is Alpine Decidueye. And then now we've got my main way of taking down Cresselia, because you can see a lot of my, again, a lot of my teams built around taking Cresselia because his only close combat switches are Cresselia and Jellison. Uh, nothing else on this team really wants to take it. Top Coco is a little bit too frail. Skarmory can, but if I can ship it down to like 60%, then it, I, I two-shot it very, very, very easily. And so I'm bringing, I'm bringing Zoroark, Night Days, Sucker Punch, Extra Sensory, u turn Nice. I, I brought Night Days before. I like Night Days over Dark Pulse because the drop in accuracy is only 5%, so I still have a 95% chance to hit. Uh, but I like the 5 the five extra base power in damage. It puts some rolls a little bit more in my favor more than uh, Dark Pulse. So it's not it's like, you know, 5 or 8% uh, increase in damage, which is, which is nice, uh, especially against Cresselia. And if I can combine this with Acid Spray on, on Electros, Night Days does take it out from full all day every day which is fantastic. Sucker Punch gives me a little bit more or gives me a little bit of priority just to in case like Top Coco is really low I can Sucker Punch to kill it. Weavile is low I can Sucker Punch to kill it. Zygarde doesn't have extreme speed and he's low I can Sucker Punch to kill it. So 
it's a it's a nice move to have extra sensory to take on Hariyama because I was thinking about bringing Flamethrower instead, but then Hariyama hard walls this, and I really don't want to give Hariyama free switch in because Hariyama is spooky. But I do have I do have Florges, so you might not even bring it. It doesn't have a fantastic matchup against my team because I got like Jirachi, Florges, Decidua, so on and so forth down the line. But Night Day Sucker Punch hits the team pretty hard. If he's more of a physically defensive Skarmory, Night Days is a very, very easy two-shot. If he's more of a specially defensive, it's a roll to two-shot with Night Days. But if he's specially defensive, then Terrakion two shots up with close combat very easily. So, you know, it, it's one or the other, and it's favorable for me either way. So that is Zoroark. Uh, really nice. Oh, the EV spread, max special attack, mild. Uh, 146 in speed, I'm pretty sure, I want to say. If I remember, 164 in speed and then the rest in attack. The the 164 in speed only outspeeds max speed. Max speed, what was it? Max speed shift rate. I didn't really care about outspeeding Frogadier. If he brings Frogadier, he brings it. I, I just don't really see it coming. It doesn't do a ton to my team. He has a better spike stacker in Skarmory against my team. So I didn't really see it coming. And I, I really didn't need to outspeed it. Uh, because also Sucker Punch would probably just bop it really quickly if it's like it's 50%. So I, I didn't feel the need to bring it, uh, bring enough speed out to be that thing. Because with the max special attack mild, I deal a lot of damage to his team. So that's really fantastic. But that is Zorork. And up next, now we got the, the big win condition for the team. We've got Scarf, Adam, and Terrakion, 116 in HP, max attack, Adam, and 140 in speed. Close combat, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Toxic, just in case, like, he brings in Chrysalia, and it's still live, and it's not paralyzed, I can Toxic it. No switch in Toxic. And really, I just want to click Close Combat with this thing. Uh, he doesn't have the best switch-ins, again, aside from Chrysalia and Jellicent, so if I can weaken or get rid of the Chrysalia, then I can just kind of click Stone Edge a, a few times. So yeah, that is Terrakion. <laughs> really not much to say about it. It's Scarf Adamant. I'm only running enough speed to again outspeed max speed Scarf Shift Tree. I was even thinking of not even running that. I was thinking about just running enough speed to outspeed Top Coco, max speed Top Coco, because then I would be able to run like no speed investment, near max HP. I'd have been really bulky Terrakion. I could take pretty much any hit, but the 116 in HP allows me to take enough. So that is Scarf Adamant Terrakion. Hopefully, it does things. And last but not least, we've got Crazy Daisy. The floor just, it's just max physically defensive. I i didn't really know what to do with this. I was just like, let's just bring max physically defensive. I pretty much just want to wish pass with this. Maybe get off a few moon blasts on some things. It's pretty much it. It's kind of like a secondary check to, to top Coco. Hopefully, you know, I can take some hits. I can moon blast it in the face, weaken it. Hopefully bring it in a range where either Adamant CC kills it, or a Life Orb Sucker Punch will kill, which, you know, I need to get it down to like 25%, which I can do. Uh, but that is Florges. It's physically defensive, really not much to say. Kebby a Berry, so I can take a Poison Jab from Weavile. But I think that's kind of useless because I, you know, Ice Crash still does enough to two-shot me, so he's probably not going to have to go for it, but I was like, oh, let's just run the Kebby Berry. I have nothing else to really put there. Uh, I th well, also, it helped me deal with, like, Poison Jab from Hariyama and Sledge Wave from Tornadus, so, you know, I there are those reasons, but it doesn't help me deal with his biggest physically offensive threat, was, which was the Weavile anyway, but I really just want to be able to wish pass into something, especially Jirachi. Be able, being able to keep that thing healthy will be really nice to take on the Weavile, so in case I, I get chipped down below 50%, I can wish pass into it, bring it up to around, like, 80-ish percent, and then still be able to take the knockoff. So that is Florges. So hopefully uh, we can win this battle. Um, it's going to be a very difficult one. Merc is a is an, a fantastic player, but that's all I got for today. Mine is Merc, coaching the Patrats. I'll see you all next time.